touch that five for you. I do that three, four times a kid, and I testify for you. I thought I like you that hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new here my name is mufida and i'd like it if you click down below to subscribe to my channel so today's video is a bit of an exciting one this is gonna be a beginner makeup kit for 2023 so essentially if you are a beginner and you want to know how to do your makeup you don't know what to get you don't know what kind of products to get for yourself you don't know where to start this should probably be your starting point so i have just the basics of like flawless makeup base if you want your makeup to look good i have a few products lined up in front of me so yeah i'm not saying you should go by this exact routine or you should go by these exact products but i'm just giving you guys the basis like where you should start from if you feel like this is going to be a little bit too much for you you can pick and choose what is going to work for you if you're not a foundation girl you're just a concealer girl you can just pick your concealer pick your powder like whatever works for you but i just have the most important thing seated right in front of me cool i feel like this intro has been so long but i had to make a few disclaimers because you put up a video and some people come and be like oh this is too much for me oh my god you said basics blah 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 and this is too much for beginners blah 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 so i'm just putting out the basics there you pick and choose what works for you if you want to see how this video goes down carry on watching and let's get right into it see my phone in the frame i'm trying to film a tiktok if you aren't following me on tiktok why aren't you doing that my name is the same name on tiktok mufida mukta so go ahead and follow me on there i'll pop up a link above so you guys can go ahead and do that so let's get into it so i'm gonna start off with my brows i like to use a thick concealer as usual i'm not going to change that so i'm going to use my kevin aquan sensual skin enhancer in the shade sx12 you need a concealer probably two to three shades lighter than your actual complexion if you want under your brows not to be too light you can go for a darker concealer if you want like a bright brow bone look you can go for a brighter concealer but the basic thing is probably two to three shades lighter than your foundation shade so I'm gonna clean up my brows So I'm going in with my Real Techniques brush. This is the Deluxe Crease brush. It's just a fluffy brush. I'm gonna use that to clean up my brow area. So I'm gonna leave my brows as is and I'm gonna go ahead and do my base. So you need a good primer to start off. You should get a primer that works for you. My personal favorite is the Milk Hydro Grey Primer. This is an amazing primer and from what I can tell, it works for a lot of skin type. Personally, I have oily combination skin. This works really well for my skin type. So you can go ahead and use whatever primer works for you. So you need a good primer in order for your makeup to look really really good and in order for your makeup to last long so i'm gonna use this primer all over my skin I really like this primer it has like a grip to it which is amazing it makes the makeup like stick on your skin which is great I really love that so for the next step you need a foundation there's so many resources online on how to find foundation or your foundation shade I also filmed a video on how to find your foundation shade so you can also check that out I will link that above in the card so you guys can go ahead and do that so I'm gonna use my oil free oil controlling waterproof transfer resistance two-faced bond this way foundation 
foundation i really like this one i mentioned earlier that my skin is oily combination so i personally go for a matte foundation because it sits well on my skin and it lasts long on my skin and just makes my base look really really good my shade is chestnut i definitely like this shade it really works well for my skin tone so if you have dry skin go for a foundation that is definitely going to work for your skin type using a matte foundation when you have dry skin is definitely not going to be best because your skin will be too dry and it will break apart and you'd be uncomfortable so go for a moisturizing foundation Too Faced Born This Way line has a foundation for dry skin so yeah you can go ahead and check that out um for my oily girls i really love this foundation they're also definitely affordable versions of foundation you can just go on google and type it out and you can see so many suggestions from different blogs and stuff like that so i'm gonna use this foundation it's definitely one of my favorites i go in with probably two pumps at most i don't go in with more than two pumps and i'm going to spread that out with my finger one thing about matte foundations is that they dry down fast so as soon as you apply your foundation you want to go ahead and blend it out i'm gonna blend out my foundation with my real techniques brush I definitely also like to go in with a sponge just to go all over my face to pick up any excesses. Using a sponge has really, really helped my base to look really good and flawless. A lot of you tell me that you love sponges or brushes. Some of you tell me you use both and I definitely support using what works for you. So if you feel like a brush works better for you, definitely go ahead and do that. If you feel like a sponge works for you, definitely go ahead and keep using what works for you. I like to use a concealer that is two to three shades lighter than my skin tone to highlight, you know, just to bring a bit of light back into my face. You guys see me using two concealers in most of my videos because I like a really bright under eye, but this video is just the basics, so I'm just gonna talk about those ones. So I definitely like this concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, and it's in the shade Butter Scotch. If you check the shade ranges of the Too Faced Concealer, you really realize that the shade chestnut is probably a shade or two after this one I'm gonna put that on my under eye area you know just to highlight that place to cover up any dark circles and just to bring that area to life I'm also gonna put a bit on my mustache area just cuz I have like a five o'clock shadow I'm gonna put some on my chin the bridge of my nose to highlight that portion as well and a bit on my forehead so I'm gonna leave this to sit on my face for a while while I go ahead and contour my face so I'm gonna use my Juvia's stick foundation in the shade Sokoto this is probably three shades or two shades darker than my foundation shade if you want a darker contour or bronzer type of look you can go for darker shade and if you want something that's not too strong that's not too harsh you can go for a shade lighter or two shades lighter so so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apply this. I personally do not put cream contour directly on my jawline because it tends to look muddy. So I blend it out and what's left on my brush, I put on my jawline. It just gives a softer look. So to blend out my contour, I'm going to use my Real Techniques contour brush. So I'm going to start buffing that into my skin. Then what's left on my brush, I'm gonna go over my jawline area. It just gives a softer look. 
that's what I like by all means do you you can go ahead and put the products directly on your jawline and for what's on my nose I'm gonna blend that out just you know in a sec to blend out my highlights I am going to use my brightening under eye concealer brush from Real techniques I don't know if I said the name right but this is what it's given it's a very good brush I'm gonna start off on my chin the last area I usually blend out is my under eye area so yeah Obviously, you can use the same concealer that you use to highlight to clean under your brows. Like I said, I like the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer to clean up under my brows. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that. I know it looks a little crazy but trust the process you're gonna put your concealer brush aside and just let that breathe for a sec and I'm gonna go in with the damp sponge always use a damp sponge and I'm gonna go over Now I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush to blend around the edges so that they don't look really harsh. I'm not going in with extra products. I'm just using what's left on the brush, if there's any left on the brush, that is. The reason why I don't use a new brush each time I'm blending is cause I don't wanna lift up the product. I just want it to look like I have a natural flow on the face. And I'm gonna go back in with my contour brush that I used earlier to blend out the edges as well. Now I haven't forgotten the contour on the nose. I'm going to blend that out right now. I'm gonna use my brush from Morphe. This is the Morphe E62 brush. I'm gonna use that to blend out what's on my nose. Now the next step is cream blush. I personally like the one from Rare Beauty. Now this is not very necessary. You can definitely skip this step if you're not a cream blush or a blush babe. Like that's completely fine. But I feel like cream blush has definitely been one of these trending, but like a good trend. I feel like cream blush actually enhances the powder blush that you put on later and it makes it last long. It just gives like a pretty look. If you are scared of cream blushes and you are my skin tone, or your darker version of me you can use a peach blush or orange type of terracotta blush I feel like it works really really nice for our skin tone and I like this one from rare beauty this is definitely in the shade love this is one of my favorites so I'm going to apply that so I'm gonna place that right in between my highlights and my contour just like so and I'm gonna go back in with my real techniques brush that I use to blend out my contour to blend it out this kind of mixes up with the blush and it makes it look really really nice so I am going to go ahead and begin to blend it out this cream blush definitely dries down fast so you want to work fast when you apply that So now I'm going to go back in with my brush that I used to blend out my highlighter. I'm going to use that to just blend out my under eye area because we're going to move into setting the cream and the liquid product. So I'm just going under my eyes just to iron out any creases. Also, I like to go over the harsh line between my blush and my highlight just to put a little bit of the concealer from the brush into the blush so that it, you know, looks a bit more natural. I know there's nothing natural about this makeup look but like 
to make it look cleaner is what i'm trying to say and what is left on the brush i like to just go over my eyelids just like so just to you know prime my eyelids because of course i'm gonna be going in with a little bit of eyeshadow so now to set you need a loose powder that is lighter than your skin tone if you like you can go over with a translucent powder those ones work really really well the laura mercier translucent powder is amazing s pond translucent powder is amazing sasha buttercup there are so many powders on the market now the benai translucent banana powder like there are so many powders i like the huda beauty powder this is in the shade blondie i really really like this shade so I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye area with it and also everywhere that I applied concealer one trend that I really really like that has been helpful to my routine is definitely to use a powder puff to set my face so I really really love that but before you set your under eye area you definitely want to blend out the under eye area I personally crease a little bit under my eye so I definitely like to go in with a brush I'm also going in with a sponge just to do some a bit of blending i'm also gonna go over my eyelids just to do a bit of blending as well once the blending is done you're gonna dip your puff into your powder just like so and you're going to push the powder under the eye the puff definitely gives like an airbrush effect which i love This looks really, really, really good. So I'm gonna set this area as well. I'm also going to set my eyelids as well. I really love how this just makes everything so airbrushed so once you've set the creams you want to set the liquids I personally like to set my entire face with a pressed powder this is one of my favorite pressed powders it is the LA pro face powder in the shade classic tan I'm gonna go in with a big powder brush from real techniques just to set my entire face with so you want to dip into your powder and you're going to go and set everywhere else on your face that you didn't set with the pressed powder you know just to make sure that the products on your skin do not move after some time look I'm not going to kid you makeup would look like makeup and in order for your makeup not to break apart or move you need to set it with powder so it stays on your face especially if you have oily skin so definitely use a pressed powder you can also use your loose powder to set your face that like, do whatever works for you but I like a pressed powder just because it's going to allow the the gradient and the highlighting and the sculpting that I've done on my face with my cream and liquid products to you know stay put so I definitely use something that is close to those shades to set those areas that I apply the liquids to I hope this makes sense I know we've set most of the face with powder I like to go back in with a powder bronzer just to you know help a little bit with the cream bronzer or the cream contour that I use this step you can skip like do whatever works for you for your base to look like flawless you definitely need a bronzer like I know <laughs> anyway so I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush matte bronzer in the shade tan 3 I'm gonna put that wherever I applied my cream contour or bronzer to and I'm gonna apply it with my Morphe brush this is what it looks like this is the Morphe E4 brush I really like this brush it just has like a slant to it which I really like and I'm gonna go over my forehead And 
my jawline this time I go in directly with the product because it doesn't look muddy then and then I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose with the same brush and bronzer I'm also going to go over my eyelids with some of the bronzer just cause I don't like a bare eyelid so I'm definitely going in with a little bit of bronzer. I haven't forgotten about the eyebrows, we'll do the eyebrows real soon. So what I like to do is to go back in with my loose powder and my puff. I'm going to dip my puff into it and I'm going to clean up just a bit. So I'm going to fill my brows in with my Juvia's Place Eyebrow Pencil. Just gonna brush the hairs up and just fill them in. I'm gonna go in with a powder blush. You can skip this step again if you're not a blush girl. I am definitely a blush girl and I really like this cream blush with this powder blush. This blush is from Juvia's Place. I've been using it in almost all my tutorials. I really love this blush. So I'm gonna apply that onto the apples of my cheekbones and I'm gonna go in with my blush brush from Real Techniques. like blush just brings life to this look and then you're going to need a setting spray this is when I like to set my face just because I've applied all my powder products so I'm gonna apply the setting spray just so they melt in and just make my makeup look a little bit more like skin even though makeup never looks like skin <laughs> anyways I'm going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray this is an amazing setting spray for oily skin type so definitely if you have dry skin use something that's going to work for your dry skin a hydrating mist you know whatever works for your skin type so I'm going to spray that all over my face when I apply my setting sprays when I like to go after I apply my setting sprays when I like to go in with a mascara just to apply on my lower lashes so that they look really nice if you don't have false eyelashes on you can definitely use your mascara to apply on your top eyelashes and to make sure like they look good so yeah So I'm gonna go in with a brow gel just to make sure my eyebrows are looking good. You can definitely skip this step. I'm gonna use my Nuban Beauty Brow Mascara in the shade Latte. So 
for the final step for my base i'm gonna use my highlighter a lot of people don't really like using highlighter these days but i'm definitely still a highlighter girl so i'm gonna be applying that onto my face i'm using my mac mineralized skin finish in the shade gold deposit definitely a black girl must have and i'm going to put that into my inner corners you know just to open up my eyes the tip and the bridge of my nose, my brow bone area. I'm also gonna apply a bit on the high points of my cheekbones. Just a little bit, not a lot at all. Now for my lips, I essentially would you need a lip liner. So a brown lip liner goes with a lot of things. You guys know this is the lip liner from Juvia's Face in the shade Cola. So I'm gonna line my lips with that. lipstick from Alma Beauty. This is in the shade um, Ether. So I'm gonna put that at the center of my lip. This just gives like the ombre effect. It just brings everything together. So if you are a gloss girl, definitely get the NYX Butter Gloss. If you are my skin tone or darker and you like that ombre effect, definitely use the shade Madeline, 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 or I really can't, okay, the shade Fortune Cookie as well. Well, if you're a little bit lighter, like this is an amazing nude gloss that I really, really like. Today, I'm going to use my Fortune Cookie. So guys, this is the end of the video. This is what the base is looking like. I hope that this video was helpful. Everything that I use would be listed down below as usual. Do not forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you're going to be picking and choosing or if this routine works for you or not. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I will definitely leave all the links to my socials down below. I'm active on this. There. so in case i'm not here i'm on there feel free to leave any questions down below and let me know how this video went i'll see you guys in my next one take care guys bye Magic, yeah. Smash and grab, she, yeah.